Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. This is my Finish It Friday video for Friday, September 6th, 2024. So if you wanna see what I've been working on for the past two weeks, please stay tuned. I am really excited to share what I've been working on for the past two weeks. I meant to put up a Finish It Friday video last week, but I didn't get to it. So we get to do one today. I am so looking forward to sharing. Guess what this is? Uh oh, something fell. It is the completed Starlight Star Bright quilt. I have a few um, little snippets of videos that I want to share about this quilt, but it is completely done. I have washed it. I didn't even um, take a picture of it after I washed it, but you'll see it in the video before I put it in the wash. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I will say that I washed it with two color catchers and the color catchers both look like this. So all of that black, um, really came off on the color catchers and probably some of the red as well, but it looks great. I'm so happy with it. Can't wait to share. Take a look at the last few bits of um, this quilt. Hello, hello, hello. I wanted us to all be able to celebrate this last row of quilting for my nephew's quilt. If you've been following the channel, we've been on this journey for quite a while. I really have only been working on it for um, about 25 minutes a day, so not too long, but I'm here at this last row of stitching and I was gonna, when I advanced the quilt, it was gonna be all the way up at the edge, but I decided to put it right here. Um, but the pantograph is back there. I couldn't quite line it up like I would like to. So what I'm going to do instead is do just a row of free motion swirl quilting and hopefully it'll be close and will match it. I will film it off camera and then I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. But so excited, my batting chicken, I, I have enough, check it out, we did pretty good. And my fabric did pretty good as well. It seemed to be enough, so I'm excited to get this last row done and we'll see what it looks like. The quilting is finished now. Check it out. The shapes are a little different, but as I look from far away, I don't think it's a big deal. And the important thing is that it is finished. So say with me, finished is better than perfect. And we have it ready and I can take it off of the long arm. I'll take it off and take it upstairs and see what we're working with. I am so excited about this quilt that I don't even have my microphone in. I just brought it right upstairs so that I could show it to you guys. I just um, got it off the sewing machine. I have the binding on it and I am so impressed by it. I just think it looks amazing. Let's go a little bit closer. I just, I'm so excited about this binding. I think it just is perfect on here that plaid oh my goodness this is just so cute i'm so happy with it wow and i got the um the best bit of advice i do need to zoom a little bit on the quilting um so you can see it it's it's not perfect but it suits the quilt nicely i think like you can see it in the gray I'll show you where I adjusted the quilting a little bit at the very end, but it's not even super noticeable. Not to me anyway, but man, look at that binding. That red with the gray, it's just so great. I got a bit of advice from someone, um, a subscriber emailed me and suggested that I put a half inch seam allowance. So when I cut the edge of the quilt off, I cut it off a half inch um, outside of the that uh, line or outside of the um, cornerstones. And I, that was perfect. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that idea because we got some, um, some good points here. Normally I wouldn't have 
done that but man i'm so happy with this quilt my next step is of course to uh, put a label on it i don't have a real design uh, an idea for a name yet but man i'm just so excited about it it looks great i'm so happy with how it turned out it was worth every bit of agony i guess for it when i wash it i think i'm going to put uh, two color catchers in here to see hopefully this red and black will look nice let's get a look at the back of the quilt i have not looked at the quilting on the back because i want to maintain my good vibes here and the quilting on the back to me it leaves a little bit to be desired but it still looks pretty good actually it's not near as bad as i thought but there are some little you can see some little spots here and there that could be better but i'm really happy with it wow and i'm so excited to have it done can't wait to get the label on it get it washed it's gonna be great thank you so much to everybody who has joined me on the journey with this quilt it has been quite an adventure and i'm so excited that i get to cross it off of the list I think I'm going to take a picture of it on my bed because I'm pretty sure it's a king. My bed is a queen, so I'm interested to see how much it hangs off the sides. But here it is, my first Star Light Star Bright quilt with the block set on point. Can't wait to see how the next one turns out, but I'm going to enjoy this one for just a little while. I hope you enjoyed the wrap up of the Starlight Star Bright quilt. I actually call this one Starlight Star Bright number one because I still have the blue colorway that I need to finish. But man, to have this one done, I learned so much from the process of putting that quilt together. I'm so excited that I can mark it off of my list and write it on the list of completed. So it is no longer a UFO, it's now a completed quilt. Can't wait to share it with my nephew. Hopefully I will get to show you guys his reaction to the quilt. But like I said, it I'm so excited to have it done um, that it, it just feels so good. Now I have taken some of the scraps. I do have a ton of scraps from this quilt that I still need to cut down. The leftover um, backing is right over there on my cutting table right now um, because I need to cut it down and get it um, get it sorted into workable scrap fabric. But I've decided to take the red scrap and um, start another project. And I know that you're thinking, I, I mean, I know I'm thinking, I don't need a new project to start, but I'm gonna start one anyway. Um, I found this book at the library called Quick Colorful Quilts, and I chose a pattern um, out of here that I'm going to use to make a Christmas quilt. I have three sample blocks of it right here. It uses two and a half inch squares and uh, two and a half inch rectangles, and then a larger square as well. So I have a video um, that I'm editing right now for this process. The block is super simple, but I want to, um, in the video, I go into a little bit more detail about this book and, um, and show you how I put this block together. But like I said, it's really simple. I'm hopeful that I can finish it by Christmas. And I like that I was able to, um, go through some of my scrap two and a half inch squares. They're actually in this bag and I'm going to do this as kind of a, 10 minute a day project. So just something quick, a little bit of mindless sewing every day um, because I have another project that I'm going to be working on or that I already started for on a commission. So I'll explain that one in just a minute, but this is cool. And I like that I'm taking the scraps from this quilt and going straight ahead and turning it into something else. I don't normally do that. So it's kind of cool to give that a try. Okay, so I did also make a nine patch block for my quilt as you go. Um, I have not even pressed this block yet. I need to give it a press. And I have one, two, I have three more blocks to make to have all the ones that I need for that project. Um, but that's not a high priority for me right now. 
Um, but again, if I want to do a little bit of mindless sewing, I absolutely can do that. Plus, these are already laid out on my design wall, so it makes sense to go ahead and get them done. But I just have not yet. I did because I was working on these blocks and the nine patch. I did finish my most recent Jacob's Ladder block. And um, you saw this one on the last video, but I did finally get that last seam done. And that gives me, I think, 10 completed um, Jacob's Ladders. And then I have a total of 30 that I want to make. So there are 20 um, that I have. I don't quite have them all um, in colorways yet, but um, I'm getting them stitched as my leader ender project. So even as I make these blocks, when I need to get to a an ending point, I'll pull out the leader ender. I have started the next um, set of blocks for that as well. The last thing I want to share for this week's video is that I do have a commission quilt that is coming down the pike. I have all of the fabrics red, not ready, but I have the fabrics. It's going to be a Jersey t-shirt kind of quilt, um, but it is a baby quilt. So I'm interested to see how it turns out. I'll put a picture of the pieces, um, most of the pieces that I'm going to use here in, um, in the video. So I've laid everything out. I've cut everything. I have not done the interfacing yet because I'm in the planning process of putting this quilt together. I'm going to, um, I'll walk up close to the camera so that you can kind of see what I'm working with. But like I said, this is the opening stages of this process. So this is just, I don't even know what you can see, but I've kind of, I'm just kind of laying out the, um, the pieces in a way that hopefully will be pleasing. And then I'm, I know I'm going to have some empty spaces here. And so, I'll be using leftover um, pieces from those jerseys to fill in some of those spaces. And then I may need to add, a, um, add an additional fabric. I do want to have a border around it. So that border fabric may have to go into the body of the quilt just a little bit. Um, but I think it's going to work out great. Like I said, still in the opening planning stages. So looking forward to seeing how this comes together. It has been just a little bit since I did a commission quilt. It's been even longer since I did a t-shirt quilt. So, and I've never done anything quite like this in a t-shirt. So it's sort of improv, except not really because I'm laying it all out beforehand. Um, but still a great challenge. I'm looking forward to it and to uh, being able to get it on the long arm, get it finished. Hopefully within, I try to give myself eight weeks to do it. Um, and I usually get done before that. So. This will be priority number one, and then I will move on to some other projects for priorities number two and three. My Christmas quilt, like I said, will be a 10 minute a day, like work on it 10 minutes and then stop. And then, um, and just to see how far I get, it would be amazing if it was done by Christmas. Um, I'm looking forward to this next week. I can't wait to see what it holds. Let me know in the comments what you're working on, what you're excited about, what you're looking forward to. Um, I have not decided if I want to enter into the Georgia National Fair. I have two that I'm considering, but only one has a sleeve. So if I enter anything, it will be that Bargello quilt. Um, I think I have to take it today if I'm going to enter it. So I just haven't really made up my mind about that. I'll think about it a little bit more. Um, I don't know. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.